वेलकम टू खुदू पता मिस्टर खुदू पता इज हियर So welcome to the vlog, boys. So today we have Mr. Akshit, all the way from Qatar, Kudupada. And uh, he's very, very famous FC owner Barand. So he'll be wearing a riding jacket very soon. Safety will be provided by Ramnath. Though Ramnath is not wearing the gloves. <laughs> okay, chalo, chalo. We'll go towards the house. Ikle bhai there, good luck. Pana adhya na dikha ge. Anchare ge unje sanmana mandu the. Aare gunji topi di ta inglo. Ancha. Um. So yeah, we all met at uh, uh, Ramnath house, and now. Uh, We're going to explore some trail in and around uh, Adinarka. Uh, uh, today's trail is going to be fun trail. It's not going to be too much technical or hard. Um, it's just going to a light, uh, fun time. It's more like a celebration that uh, Mr. Akshit is here for a while. So just want to. I found he reached last night at about uh, 1:30 and morning he is out for a ride <laughs> so yeah so we are about 5 uh, 6 riders today so we got suraj kirtan uh, ramnath akshit and uh, myself and ramon ola so there's kirtan here's uh, suraj Ramon Orla and then Arvan and only Mr. Rai. <laughs> yeah, so we've missed him for a while now. It's been about uh, 15 months since he went to Qatar, so we've missed him a lot. And you might have seen that uh, evidently in all our videos, we keep talking about Kudu Padao. Kudu Padao is none other than Akshit Rai. So here we start. So this is uh, somewhere near Panaji. We are getting into a train. And look at this is complete uh, forest area, both the ends, and that will also lead to a trail. This reminds me of um, riding in Goa when you are uh, deep inside. Wow! Look at this. And from here, uh, our trail starts. So this is somewhere inside Panaji. So you cross a nice small jungle bit, and then you get into this place. And this is complete full uh, mango lateral stone. What you call? Uh, it's that surface. Check that out. Complete the surfaces of that, and they made a road out of it. It's a good place for a shoot as well. Very, very nice, vast area. Wow! Should come here again. Now comes downhill. So 
So Suraj is uh, left to Mangalore. He has some other work, so he's gone to Mangalore. So now we have five members: that's uh, Ram Kishor, Kirtan, uh, and then uh, uh, Ramon Olla, as well as our uh, one and only Akshit Bai and myself. So we are five of us now. This uh, particular lateral stone, if you try to go on it during the rainy season, it can be really deadly. So, time to take a deviation and get into this place. Oh, wow. oh this is more like uh, uh, walking, uh, you know, what do you say, Kaldari, it's like that. One single lane and then come into the main road. Take a right and uh, let's see what the next trail is all about. This is like an open land, you can go anywhere and everywhere and all this is lateral stones, you see, everything is lateral stone. Oh, crazy. Huh? <laughs> no, no, it's been doing great everywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> Just plan, plan it properly and go because the other reason is my motorcycle does not have too much of uh, uh, ground clearance. You we'll have to plan it. And uh, the best part is, no, there is no visibility because of the entire, uh, this, uh, dry grass. This, when you get into the dry grass, you really don't know what's right in underneath you. So you need to be careful. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Nothing like saddling and riding in these kind of conditions where you get a complete view of where you're seeing what you want to do and where you want to head to and at the same time a good control over the motorcycle. So it's like you can go anywhere and everywhere. There's no select route that you need to take. Wherever you can go is your route. Wow. So you'll have to negotiate here nicely and keep going. Beautiful. Just fantastic. And uh Man, the trailer tires are of so much of help in this kind of terrain. Beautiful, amazing uh, location. And you see, it turned out black. It's because of the algae which is there on the top just dry, and that's why it's turned black. Otherwise, you can see the color is red of this uh, lateral stone because it's dried and uh, thing it's turned black. And here it's like there's road or nothing, it's just zero place and you just negotiate yourself wherever you want to go and go. That's all. There's no road as such.
So it's up to your imagination where you want to go, how you want to go, what you want to do here. And just keep making your own route and getting in wherever you want to go. end there need to take a turn and get back so just continuing to negotiate myself into these roads and this is where exactly you know the use of riding gears use of uh, motorcycle accessories like knuckle guard and all of it so everything comes into work in these kind of terrain when you go and especially riding boots Riding boots are extremely important in these conditions. So guys, always be safe whenever you are out there riding. And especially when you're going to an unknown zone like this. For us, it's completely unknown. If not, for everybody else, for me, it is definitely a new one. And... Uh, and also don't uh, accidentally accelerate here that can get really deadly because this is a non-punishable kind of a thing here here you can't afford to make any mistakes you'll have to be as careful as possible and uh, keep going one advantage now on our side is it's dry that's why you can easily get some good traction and keep going if this was a wet surface it could have got a little difficult for everybody so time to continue let's continue this crazy trail there's uh, another two more trails that we'll uh, attempt to do and uh, as per Ram Kishore it's gonna be like crazy so let's see we are always open for any kind of uh, trail just like an open barren land you go anywhere you want oh wow what, what? hit my belly motorcycle belly so this is the only place where I feel uh, Apache can be a little better that's my Hermes because of the ground clearance because here I need a lot of ground clearance uh, because there's a lot of places which is blind spots because of the grass and you don't know what's right below there and that can come and hit your uh, underbelly of the motorcycle that's why but this is where i feel i can be an advantage otherwise i never feel the requirement of extra ground clearance because uh, this easily can take anywhere and everywhere so now we are going down ah. so one of the trail next that we are going to take is going to lead us to Kerala and then come back to Karnataka and uh, the other one is proper Karnataka so because this is Panaji this is the border of Karnataka, uh, Karnataka and Kerala you keep switching between uh, these two states
getting onto our next uh, trail.